For the HPLC, you use different solvents to dilute your sample. I've labeled these as 10 star, 20 star, 50 star. The number indicates the percent acetonitrile in these mixtures. The star indicates they also had trifluoroacetic acid. It's an acidulant. It's 0.1 percent. For the esters, the recommended diluent will be 50 star, 50 percent water, 50 percent acetonitrile. And I'll make the dilution in an Eppendorf tube. I have here a stock solution of 0.1 molar salicylic acid. To make the dilution, uh, I'll do a 50 fold dilution, which will make the concentration in the Eppendorf tube 2 millimolar. I'm using a microcapillary that actually measures well from uh, a box like this. It comes with a plunger. When it's assembled, it looks like this, and I can pull the plunger up, and there are lines here that mark the microliters. So I'll get four microliters, and I'll dilute it to 200. That's a 50-fold dilution. In this case, it's not critical. I get a precise amount. Uh, I could use a P10 for this. It'd be fine, but I want to demonstrate the use of the microcapillary measuring device. And then I just push, and I have four microliters in the bottom of my Eppendorf tube. The capillary is throwaway. The plunger needs to be washed. So now I'll add 200 microliters of 50 star to my sample to dilute it appropriately for the HPLC. And I just agitate that gently. Here's my sample ready for injection. It's got a label on it so I know what it is. The injection port on the HPLC is right here. We have a manual injector so I need to get a syringe which is over here. So the syringes are always next to the HPLC. This side actually holds the syringe fairly well. This side doesn't. That's why there's a piece of tape here. You'll notice there's a lever here that has two positions. Inject and load. At this point I want it on load. This is a 50 microliter syringe and I will now I'll do what's called flushing the loop here. There's a loop here in which the sample that I want to run will be held ready for it to be delivered to the column. Uh, I'm pulling up just 50 star here, this is 50 star, and I'll flush the loop by injecting once, twice, like so. Now I'll load my sample. So I'll pull up 40 microliters of sample into my syringe. I have little droplets on the outside of the needle which I'll wipe off. And then I'll put the needle into the injection port. Push it to the bottom. I'm not pushing it hard. It, it, it stops. And then I will inject not in the entire 40 microliters because there's a little air bubble here. Very common to get a little air bubble. And so I'll inject without putting the air bubble in there. So I need to put at least 20 microliters into the loop. Uh, so this is fine what I've done here. I'll leave the syringe hanging here. That, that's sort of a, a system I have of saying I know I injected my sample because here's the syringe 